What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And today I've got a review for you guys of the Sennheiser HD25-1.2. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. All right guys, here we have the Sennheiser HD25-1.2. These are some professional grade headphones and although I don't consider myself to be a professional or audiophile, I want to give the average consumer who is looking to upgrade to some professional equipment some insight on these cans. Now the HD25 have been around for some time and have quite a good reputation. These monitor headphones are primarily for studio and DJ use and they are often referred to as reference headphones due to having a pretty good balance in most areas of sound. But let's talk a bit about the design and overall build of these headphones. The HD25 may not be as flashy as some of the consumer targeted headphones out there, but that's okay considering these are monitor headphones that are intended to be used in the studio or DJ booth. They are made of a plastic material but actually have a surprisingly sturdy build quality. Now the first thing you might notice about these headphones is the headband. Now the headband is actually pretty interesting because it can actually split in two. Being able to change and adjust the form factor is one of my favorite things about this headphone. You're able to adjust how wide or narrow the space between the bands are with relative ease. This provides a pretty secure fit and leaves you without worrying about it slipping off. Although slipping off may not be much of a concern considering how tight a fit you get around the ear cups. And speaking of the ear cups, you have a pretty interesting design where you have the cables that go directly into the ear cups above them. And if ever needed, these can be removed and replaced. Now taking a look at the cushions of the ear cups, you'll see that this one is made of a velour material, and this comes with the packaging, although it wasn't the standard ear cup material. And I found these to be a bit more pleasant and comfortable to have on when listening to music. And here you'll see a standard ear cushions that come with the headphones. They're made of a pleatherish material, and although I prefer the velour, some people have said that this is actually very comfortable and they have enjoyed it as well. So I really think it comes down to personal preference. And as I did mention before, this is for studio and DJ use. So you've got a rotating ear cup that can be rotated on any side. It can go from left or right, depending on how you want to wear it. But as I've come to notice, like with other DJ headphones, these are pretty tight ear cups and some might not find that comfortable, but this is done on purpose. It also features a double wired cable and taking a look at the input, you can see that it's a bit on the larger side, although it should work fine with most mobile devices. Although by how uniformly it fits with its quarter inch adapter, you can tell what these are truly built for. But because of how portable it is, it makes a great option for taking this on the go. As I mentioned before, these are a very balanced pair of headphones. And what I mean by that is that these don't overdo it in any department when it comes to the sound. Now, of course, sound quality is very subjective, so others may disagree, but I found that this hits right in the middle without overdoing anything. You would think that the bass would be pretty weak based on that kind of description, but it's actually pretty good. It won't rattle your brains by any means, but it's definitely still present. This wouldn't be my first pick for rap or hip hop, but this does work well with most genres, and I find that electronic music, pop or rock even, would do pretty well with these headphones. And with the amount of detail that this provides, it's no wonder that it's geared towards studio use. These retail for about $250, but you can find them on Amazon for about $200. And I think that's pretty good considering the level of equipment that you're getting here. So if you're looking to make that step into professional gear, you definitely have my recommendation for these cans. Now, of course, I have to show you guys what they look like on. So here's a look. And all right guys, time to show you what these look like on. So, here you have it. And of course I have it like this, or you can have it closed like this. Either way is fine. I personally like to have it open a little bit. Gives it more of a secure fit on your head. And for those DJs out there who use the ear cup feature, like this, you can swivel it up, and boom. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. I think these are some really great headphones for those of you who are looking for a professional pair, some studio monitors. These are really great. These are renowned. You can find reviews everywhere that say these are like just some really great headphones. They're considered legendary. Now, for the average consumer, I'm not sure if it's something you'd be interested in, but there are average consumers out there 
who just want to know that they have the best quality out there, that they have a sound professional pair of headphones, even if they necessarily aren't professionals themselves, but they want to have that professional equipment. So that's what these are. And if you're that one of those people, this is definitely a go for you. I definitely suggest it. And that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.